Hello. And today we're going to be talking about Pravoyazdi. What is this bus? Everything will become clear. Or more clouded. I'm not really sure which. Okay, so in Ireland, there was a crime spree, just a speed demon by the name of Prado Yazdi. And the cops were flummoxed. They had no idea what in the world was going on. All they knew was this Prado Yazdi was a maniac, a maniac on that dance floor. And he danced like he'd never danced before. And was basically committing traffic crimes all over Ireland. This was a time when there were issues in Eastern Europe, you know, a lot of disenchantment and a lot of people feeling bereft and without a country who had gone over to Ireland and the UK. And because among other things, Ireland and Polish tend to share one major thing. Their neighbors tend to be a bit awful. Like, really, really awful. Don't come for me. So, but Prado Yazdi was just looking at this adopted country and saying things and basically doing things that were absolutely terrible. And basically being a real danger to society. And then the, I, but the cops could not figure out who Prado Yazdi was or how to get their hands on him because he was dangerous. Although I have friends who also drive like crazy people and generally can do so safely, but still. But anyway, also, I'm not going to learn how to drive from these people because it scares the heebie-jeebies out of me and I tend to turn the seatbelt into a rosary. Right, so, finally, they were informed that Prado Yazdi is the Polish for driver's license. Oof, is that egg on my face. Now, full disclosure, I actually had, I was overthinking when I saw the words Prado Yazdi. And I actually ended up posting on Facebook, how do I pronounce these words? Because quite frankly, Polish is one of those languages where what looks simple can often be a bit of a tongue twister. And, you know, you have to pronounce a letter that doesn't actually exist in any human language. Uh, th this cannot be that simple. Turns out I was overthinking. And in fact, what I was thinking about at the very beginning, you know, pronounce the W as a V, yada, 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 was absolutely correct. Well, is that egg on my face? This is this story of Prado Yazdi sounds a lot like the story uh, coming from the 90s and early 21st century in Germany, where an Eastern European immigrant was apparently causing mass destruction, just, a, you know, crimes from murder to heroin to breaking into a school with 16 year olds as one does apparently. And long story short, apparently they realized that the cotton swabs that they were using to collect DNA were actually contaminated by this worker who was an Eastern European immigrant. And the company was basically like, we never told that these were stuff good for DNA. Uh, there is pro there is going to be contamination from the factory. We do not, I mean, they're sterilized, but they're not that sterilized. And, oof. And so on and so forth. And I'm learning Polish, and I am, I am flipping off of the DNA swab snafu. I'm learning Polish and I occasionally have my moments where I am just like, oh, you are a maniac. A maniac for sure. How on earth does that letter make 
that's that noise and the point the thing is I uh, should be somewhat used to it I always joke when I see an eye chart that I know that guy because this is you know the naming tradition that I have been brought up in this is you know these are my peoples uh, names like Kunagunda and Casanova and Chestahova come pretty quickly off my tongue. But there are some words where it takes me, it takes an inhale, exhale, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, and just a whole lot of <coughs> A lot of stuff because there's combinations of letters that quite frankly make you twist your tongue and learning Polish has taught me that if I were to write a crime novel I might include a character named Kotek the Kotek he'd be a sphinx cat Kotek is the Polish for baby cat or kitten and he would be like a 1970s detective named Kojak and go out solving crimes while drinking tea with old ladies and just being generally awesome. So look for my book on newsstands next year, Kojak's Adventures. And Nazadrovia, you are loved, be well. <laughs>